Facebook. Hi, everybody, and welcome to week number 10 of um, Cook the States, hashtag Cook the States. And today we are making, well, the choice was pepperoni roll or uh, buckwheat pancakes, and it turns out pepperoni rolls. For which state? Did I not say? For West, I don't know. <laughs> For West Virginia. <laughs> Yes, we're doing West Virginia today, week number 10, and it was um, pepperoni roll or buckwheat pancakes, and everybody voted, or more votes, for pepperoni roll than buckwheat pancakes, so we're making pepperoni rolls. Hang on, we got a bad network connection, uh, generally. So, should we... Let's have a look. <clears throat> mm. Do you want to redo it, or is it... Let's have a stuck like a second. It's still connected. Okay. Hang on. Wait one second, guys. I need to just. Uh, might be the wife. Why? Mine's bad as well, though. You still says poor connection. Hmm. Okay. Uh, both have got poor connection. Hmm. Technical difficulties. <laughs> On our Connecticut. Uh, yours is fine now. I can't get Facebook to... That's alright, just carry on, because it's still recording, so... Alright, awesome. Well, here we are. Um, what I did, basically, was a little background. I'll give you a little background on pepperoni rolls. But just to finish what I was saying is I uh, made some dough. So just a plain um, pizza-style bread dough, whatever kind of dough you like to do. And then what you can do is just take a little piece of it and uh, flatten it out. So the with that the um, history behind these are the fact that in West Virginia, which is a mining state, uh, the miners would go down into the mine and they'd have to take their lunch. And what they would typically do was would have a piece of bread in one hand and a pepperoni stick in another hand. And some enterprising person thought, aha, here's a chance to invent something. So he invented the pepperoni roll, which was to take the pepperoni and bake it in the bread. So now they just could do it one hand and still have one hand free. So, and you have stories like that of miners, like in the UK, um, the pasty, where it was done in such a way where it sort of had a handle and they could eat the, eat the um, filling and so Jade says way. good morning. Good morning. Where's um let's see, where are we? We're we're in Jordan where it's evening right now. Um and we are making our pepperoni roll, which is a West Virginia uh, uh what is a is is typical in West Virginia I should say. And Jane Shakespeare is Hello Jane Shakespeare is watching. Um, and the other thing that we're all talking about here, of course, is the coronavirus. Oh, God. Like, Couldn't get through it without talking about it. I was wondering if you were going to mention that. Um, so here in Jordan, we've had uh, schools closed down, universities. Everyone's uh, on lockdown. Mosques, churches, you know, that kind of thing. On Tuesday, the airport, uh, no flights in, no flights out. So we will be stranded here in Jordan. Which is not so bad. So Jade says that she has family in West Virginia that love these. Oh, good. So we well, chose the right one. Excellent. Excellent. Or you guys chose the right one. You guys chose the right one. Yeah, it's, it sounds like it's really something that a lot of people in, in West Virginia eat. And... I've never heard of these. I mean, it makes sense to put these two nice ingredients together, but I've never heard of them. Yeah, so it's an interesting... So basically what I'm doing is I'm just flattening it, as you can see here, like you would... When you make a loaf of bread or something, there's a way of rolling it out and then you roll it up into a, into a loaf. Um, yeah, West Virginia, um, what I know of West Virginia is that it's a very beautiful state. It is... Well, we popped through there briefly at we one did. point. We drove through. We did. It's a very beautiful state. Indeed. And so, so this pepperoni we actually got from Spain? No, this is pepperoni no. we got here. Oh. And it's sort of, uh, it's German pepperoni. Mm. And that is the way I'm going to do this. And then 
This is more of a modern twist from what I understand, and maybe Jay could tell us if that's true or not. <laughs> but um, from what I understand is that people add cheese because now it sort of becomes like a pizza. Ooh, that does sound good. <laughs> and from what I understand, again, uh, this was not part of the original... Um, traditional dish. Traditional dish of... So then you just roll. And then uh, you just well, roll it like duh, this. Duh, pepperoni roll, obviously. Let's see. That was a bit stupid on my part, sorry. No, no, because it's a roll. See, it's not about that. This Jane asks what ways. we're making. We are making a pepperoni roll, which is typical food from West Virginia where it was started when the miners would go down the mine and they were eating um, they'd have pepperoni in one hand and their loaf of bread in the other and so the two were combined and the next thing you knew is you had this pepperoni roll. Excellent. So there it is. So when you make a loaf of bread sometimes this is one of the techniques is that you actually roll it up like that and you will pinch it pinch it on the ends like that a lot of times you turn it under there you go it's kind of like a loaf mm. so now we are wait did you make one through the <gasps> magic of television no through the magic of television that went past me i didn't even see you do that so i'm just gonna put this on here <laughs> as you can see i put a little bit of dough here you're doing a, this is one I made earlier. Now. <laughs> that really is professional. Hey. You <laughs> stole my thunder. Sorry. Um, <laughs> so, you know, a good thing to do is to let it rise. Because otherwise I'm going to show you what happens when you don't let it rise long enough. <laughs> um, but it'll still be good. It smells good. And... What I'm going to do is, so what you want to do with this one is you want to cover it with, um, you could use a plastic rag, you could use a damp cloth or something like that. Got it and just here. cover it and let it rise for, you know, a good half hour. I didn't have half an hour, but through the magic uh -oh. Uh -oh. of television. Of Instagram and Facebook. And of Facebook and Instagram. Ooh. And showing you what happens when you don't let it rise long enough. Ah, I see. What will happen is that you're... Roll will bust. <laughs> so this is known as a West Virginia busted pepperoni roll. Chef Tarek version. I've given it a new name. <laughs> it smells really good though. That's what you do in cooking, you see, is that you're like, that's exactly what I meant to do. You see, <laughs> I made the busted variety. <laughs> I didn't make the traditional variety. <laughs> it's the, the Cook the States variety. But it's the Cook the States busted variety. Okay. So, this is hot. So Jade Lord. says yes. that you're right. That's what I was told about the miners. But honestly, <laughs> but honestly, I needed sauce for mine. Ah. Ooh. Yeah, I can see why you would need sauce, actually. That's a good point. That's actually quite... Yes. Oh, whoops. Now, uh, from my research, I saw that people... Like, these are in vending machines and all kinds of things. Obviously not hot, but... You can buy them that way. And maybe, uh, mm. ask Jade, Jade, does the sauce go inside? Or do you have the sauce oh, like in, dipping in a sauce. separate... Yeah, what kind of sauce, sauce do you do? I would imagine it's like a pizza sauce or a marinara or something like that. Uh, no, see, I think like like a, uh, like a garlic alioli or something would go really well with it. That would be really nice too, yes. Jane says, oh, so it's pizza dough that you've made. Yes. Essentially but you can pizza make, dough. You can make, um, you know, any type of dough that works for you that you enjoy i think you should cut up another like make into a slice and then we can try it it won't be so hot i don't see how you're gonna oh, shove that whole thing in your mouth it's gonna be really hot <laughs> so is everybody else in lockdown and quarantine jade says it looks better than the ones in the package from west virginia oh awesome <laughs> um and any word on the sauce on the sauce, yeah. Like, does it go on Ooh. the inside, or... Can you see the steam coming off that? I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Ooh. I'd love to know. Sauce-wise. Mm. Jane says she's going to have to try that. I think you should. Yeah, I think you should, too. Nice and easy. You don't need that many ingredients. Exactly. So. Okay, are we going to... you going to try it? <sighs> I'm going to try it. He's going to try it. I'm give it a go, and hopefully not burn myself. No, give it a give it a good blow before you. 
That was barely a blow. You're going to burn yourself. Mm. Oh, it sounds crunchy, though. Mm. Mm. Jay says that she opened it up and added marinara, then baked. That sounds mm. like a really good way to do it. That is a good way to do it. How is it? What's the verdict? I think it's very good. I think it's very good. I'll try it one more like this. <laughs> For everyone at home. Well, Jane says that, gosh, she wishes that she was there. Wish you were here too. <laughs> um, that's very tasty, actually. That's a really nice. That's a very nice snack, and I bet. You know, another thing you could do is <clears throat> you could sort of make this into appetizers. Oh yeah, that's you true. Could just do them like that, and then you pop a bit of sauce on top. Look at that. And then you've got kind of these little finger foodie things that are mm. tasty. So and Gloria says, yum. I'm going to make that. Great. And Maisie says, it looks delicious. Lovely. I'm really glad that you guys joined us. And um, I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly enjoyed making them. It's really, it's, I mean, the, the thing that takes the time is, of course, going to be the dough. It doesn't take a lot of time, but you know, you have to wait for things to rise, things like that. But this is a this is a brilliant snack because it's like having a pizza that's rolled up, and um, you can put different kinds of cheese. I used um, cheddar cheese, but you could do all kinds of things. I think I mean I would think you could put blue cheese in there. That might be kind of a cool thing to to try. I might do that next time. And um, it's very tasty. So today is week ten, West Virginia, and the uh, pepperoni roll. So. Uh, next week is week 11, and I believe we are in Ohio. So, Ohio, home of the Wright brothers, who were the first people to fly, <laughs> but they flew in North Carolina. And there's always an argument over, our, is North Carolina first in flight, or is Ohio first in flight, because they came from mm -hmm. even though the first flight was in North Carolina. Anyway, um, next time, next week is Ohio, week 11. Hashtag Cook the States. I appreciate you all being here. Any um, thing you want to send or give us any more notes or ideas or anything like that, always appreciated. And uh, we will put this recipe up on on the on website. On the website. And um, I hope that you will all try it. And let me know. I'd love it if you, after you try it, you let me know how it went. Thanks again, everybody. Great to see you all, or great to have you with us. And we will see you next week. Okay.